Hello and welcome to episode 42 of my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 13 on the PC. In the last episode we made our way down through the Sunlith waterscape and had to lie down and now Saz has just walked off because why not? Now I'm guessing he hasn't got too far. In fact, okay. Spoiler, he's down there. Um, <laughs> I thought he might have gone further than that. Never mind. We'll see what he's got to say for himself. Getting scared like that. The cheek of the man. So. Oh, what? You scared me. You scared us. You ran off. What's up? Say us, mate. But yeah. Don't blame yourself. Yeah. You know, you can't control who a Falci picks for a focus. My son Dodge. Hmm? He was picked. Oh crap. See. Right. So is he another one of us? He said he wanted to see a foul sea. Who doesn't? I took him to go on a tour of the Uriday Gorge plant. Thought I'd surprise him with a chocobo chick to take home, but the second I turned my back into the energy plant, he went. Damn it, Frokobo! Dodge! Dodge, come out here! I see. Dodge! I know you're in here! Dodge! <coughs> Where are you? Say something! Oh, Dodge. he's just laid out. Hey, what's wrong? Do Dodge! Daddy! Hello! Uh, it's alright. You sure? You okay? You're not hurt, are you? Ah, crap. Who gave you a tattoo? Apparently, those posts the sea had snuck in. And tried to attack the sanctum, Falsy. Swine. It did it could, and made Dodge on the sea to protect it. My son, he got picked by a sanctum Falsy. He's a hero. But where Pulse okay. is he? Dodge's enemies. That's convenient. Psychop showed up right after that to take custody of him. Then, it was one test after another. Right. He couldn't figure out his focus. Maybe it was look for Pulselessy. Maybe it was kill him. Maybe it's just have a lie down. Either way. No. He's not a crystal yet, how so. How could a kid that young even stand a chance? Well, that's, it, that's fair, but yeah. After he was made a Lassie, Dodge had some way of sensing things from Pulse. Right. He was the one who found the Pulse foul C. But the kid can't fight. Well, no, he's like five. So, that's why I put myself on the train to Purgeville. Okay. I figured his focus had to have something to do with destroying that Pulse Val C. So, you just decided so to. For him and, well. What? You know the rest. All right, so he. If I was right about his focus. He seemed like he was being dragged along by lightning at the start, but apparently it was always his goal to just do it anyway. But yeah. Then either we die, or he's a thief. Um. Really? Yeah, don't think about it, Saz. No, Frokobo says no suicides for you. Bird. The bird says no. True facts. And when the bird talks, we all listen. Because the bird knows. <laughs> so, anyway. With that with that all sorted out, we've agreed that we're not going to kill ourselves. So let's keep running! <laughs> um, and I'm going to quick save just because I haven't saved in a while after killing all those hover beasts. Oh, ten hours just gone. Um, time flies. So, what is right. that? What is that? That's what I said. Oh! Oh, 
it's a rain bubble. Device that makes bad weather. Sweet. I think. I mean, obviously now we're wet, but oh, different enemies. So we can decide to pop these and get the nasty enemies out. I guess. Is that the gist of it? Is it going to say? Yeah. Climate control orbs. These spheres modulate precipitation levels in the surrounding area. Certain indigenous fauna exhibit rain-shy behaviour, taking cover during storms. However, inducing showers can result in encounters with other, otherwise elusive hydrophilic wildlife. That's a heck of a mouthful. Right, um, basically these guys like the rain. And if we turn it off, and they go away. Sun comes out, magically, and we have those guys. So Mucha, who's the evil, well, I was going to say lesser of two evils. I think we'll just take, we'll give these guys a try. Ah, oh, they caught us. So who is that? Or what is that? That is a, got more gremlins, but there's a, God, oh, just skip, just keep, keep it on. It was a Garshimacera. Garshimacera. Seems quite tough. Um, we'll take it down because we're the ultimate dream team of Saz and Vanille. Nothing can defeat us. Apart from these guys, if I don't watch myself. But we'll get them. Just one more of these. There we go. And a fire up. Perfect. I say perfect, he's still alive, but. There we go. Yay! Oh, five stars. Cool. A few bits and bobs off the ground after they died. Let's try this dra- um, I think we might have fought one of these before, like the dragony sort of things, or wyverny sort of things. What is it? It's a wyvern! Wow, that was a good guess. I was going to say, I'd have- it had, the, it had the look about it, to be fair, but it's going to be quite tough if it's just by itself, I guess. So I'm going to try and get this boosted a little bit. What I might do is switch to Tide Turner and see if I can do some sort of debuffs on it. So I've got all my debuffs kicking about now. This could be painful. That was very painful! Way. It's loaded my defence, which isn't nice of it. Um, so one more round of this, hopefully. Oh, don't die, Vanille. You're so close to not being dead. Oh, come on! Right, so as you keep doing that, I'm going to switch back to Slash and Burn. I'm just going to go for it. It's poison now, at least, so it's got that going for it. Um, oh, you're going to make us keep healing myself, aren't you? Hopefully Saz can break it, anyway. Stagger it, should I say. I keep saying break it, it's the wrong terminology. So, switch to dual casting quickly. Let's get the stagger gauge built up. As high as we can get it, as quickly as we can get it. And then, divide and conquer. Try a little bit of this, see if we can get these debuffs on now. That's what I'm talking about. So that's one of them. Uh, can we get a deep protect on? That would be perfect. Oh no, 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 oh no. And it's... I'm sorry. You will be. Ah, oh, damn it, Vanille. You're so close. Well, I said that's my fault, but... Let's try that again. So, Wyvern. Take it on. So actually, the dra I would have thought the ones come out in the wet would be more difficult, but perhaps this one seems to be pretty mean. Um, first, it is quite similar to the scale beast, and we do get told all about avoiding enemies, so it's basically our own fault if we die here. I'm going to try one more go of this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go on, Saz. Then one piece it up. Get the So hopefully, if it does decide to bite me, we won't die. Oh, I can just suit myself as well. Cool. Few just in time, I think. Actually, now I haven't got defence down. I should have assumed myself before. Now I look at it. So that's the main way in which it seems to be kicking my ass. Actually, is that it weakens you and then it takes you out. It's pretty sneaky, but pretty sensible, I suppose. So if I can get Cure going a bit. 
on Saz, potentially. Then a couple more on myself, or one more on myself. Yeah, I can we do with another couple now. Then divide and conquer maybe to try and get poison on it. Can I poison it there? Oh, dude, that even better. Perfect. Right. I can get D shell and D protect on it. That's going to be a. You should be able to do it this time, basically. Right. Nailed it. So, Ravager, quickly, one go. And just hit it and hit it and hit it. And one more Ravager and then on the slash and burn. Oh, crap, 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 crap. One piece, I cheat. One piece. Need a cure and then a sooner myself. So, a soon, um, yeah, a sooner, quickly. Perfectly timed. And if I can get back the slash and burn before it drops, I may, may be able to just beat it to the punch on the thing. No, I'm not, I'm not. No, crap. Right. So close. Should be able to take it down as normally, no, it's still got deep protection and whatnot on it. There we go. Eh. How'd that go? Oh, that was actually pretty good. I'm um, expecting five minutes on that. Cool. Well, yeah. The whole buff debuff thing does seem to make a big difference. But yeah, so there's another one out there, and there's some more of these, like, peppery you looking things. About the local wildlife when the sun's out? Yes. Well, because when this happens, then all the wyverns fly away, I think. Do they? Yeah, to be replaced by jumpy things. Oh, there's another scale beast there. Um, I'm not sure which is the lesser of the evils. I have never actually checked how much CP I was getting for those. I will spend what I've got, though. I think I can get a little bit more. No, wrong one. So this one? Yeah, it's where I had, like, one more to spend there to get to there. Then I get a bit more HP up there. We're not doing too bad, actually. Yeah, so she's got nearly out of all level there. Yeah, solid. And... He's filled that one. This was the one where I was... About right, yep, yeah, there we go. So I've got Thunder. And then one more. Strength, good. So actually, these two are not doing too bad. Um... I'm going to try these wet, wet, wet level ones though. We the weather, something over we there. Be able to control these nasty we could, but do we want to? I'm guessing those ones aren't actually to fight because you just can't get out there. Let's try these ones. So, I'm going to show this. This could be interesting because we've now got a scale beast plus others. Now, I'm guessing we just have to kind of. Mitigate them to a degree. Like, so these guys should just drop fairly quickly. We've been doing these like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Well, a bit more than that, maybe, but not a lot more than that for three of them. And everyone's slowly getting a bit, a bit more skilled, a bit more, like, um, well, tougher essentially is probably the right word to use. Not more tougher, obviously, so that wouldn't make sense, but everyone's getting tougher. Or more tough, I suppose. But if we can get these two to keep on top of what they're doing, stick to the plan. I mean, these these guys don't like build up the gauge very quickly. But never like a bucket have overwhelm now. I think they did have it before, in fairness, but it does help. A little bit more HP as well, I think. I think vanilla has got another 25 or so. Don't think Sal's got quite that much, but just get another round of this going. And we're one patient to keep Saz like in tip top shape then switch to tide turner oh no I was going to say that I was going to switch back to war and peace in case he gets hit so Saz just hit him do something Saz damn it Saz you just lost the gauge Ugh. well I say that I did. again I did he had nothing to do with it directly as a person he's a fictional character but right I want to try and get this bit built up a little bit so if I can get this poison as part of getting my buffs in place, that would be great. So I'm pretty sure it's not immune, maybe not immune to, but close to the, it doesn't take a lot of damage when it's um, in that state. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to tolerate that still. In which case, I'm going to try and get Slash and Burn going. 
and just, well, yeah, hopefully switch between these. Did I do myself a... No, I didn't. Oh, of course I can't. I was going to say um, Commando of Sanjus, but Sass is the Sanjus and the Commando. And more to the point, the only one I've got of both of those. So, do one more go with these. But what I should be doing, I'm just going to give it one last go like this. It's actually do proper poison, poison, poison. He could be dead. He's dead. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Right. Items. Phoenix down. Saz. And then quickly auto hinder and try and keep the gauge up. At least the poisoning works. Now, slash and burn. This isn't going as well as I might have liked, just basically even based on the previous one, so I'm not sure. Well, I do know roughly where my weakness is, I'm just not managing the HP properly, so I should probably do that better, generally. So if I can get these, well, like after the first one where I had a couple of problems, I did specifically say that like my own advice was to maintain the HP above all else, and I'm just not heeding my own advice here at all. So at least I'm not dead, because it's not Vanille who's being attacked, but again, not the smartest way to deal with it. Now actually I should, I think I know just switched to there, I should have gotten that so that I can get some D-Shell on it, and that should be enough of that. And some D-Protect on it, again that should be enough of that, just one of those. And right, now just go all out as fast as we can, try and get this knocked out while we've got the boosts. Saz hasn't got all of his, like, um, buffs in place, but we're just going to go for it. So, and then switch to that, and fingers crossed, that should be in, yeah, we're ahead of, yeah. Cool. I do like his weapons as well, when they're all charged up. Yeah, four stars, yeah, I, I, that was fair. So, that was the worst of the bunch, I think, so I'm going to sneak back up here and take out... These guys up here, see if it's up, kicking around there. So, I don't know if we fought these ones yet, have we? No, so. Are these hedge frogs still, or are these some sort of. They're mud frogs. They don't look like frogs to me, but I'm not a frog expert, to be fair. They seem quite tough, actually. Look at that. Let's switch this up. Get another one of these going. Nearly there. Have we got any info yet? No. But we're close. It's immune to water, unsurprisingly, given it comes out in the rain. Saz knows what he's doing there, so. Let's right, switch to the other slash and burn and just take it down. Hopefully. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to War and Peace just to keep these guys like in decent nick. And then one more cure there. And then we'll switch to Tide Turn and I'm going to try and see if I can get some of these debuffs on here. So, deep attack, maybe? Any of them? No? Oh crap, he's just brought a bunch more of them in the fight though. Um, right, the Mudfrog's gonna get his ass kicked. So, yeah, he's got two of those on him now. He's got. There we go. Those other ones are quite weak actually. Are they the. They're still hedgehogs, yeah. Stop encouraging them! You were asking for that. Right. I wonder how this affects the time, actually. I suppose it's probably the time should, at least, be based on the first first lot that came in. Even though we've took on about ten of these hedgefrogs... Wait, I say ten. That's E and F, so probably about eight of those hedgefrogs. Should get some decent, like, CP out of it, at least, but... Yeah, time's still a bit naff. Uh, 104 CP, though, that should give us a little bit further round here. So... Was there another one that's vanilla? Yeah, she had that HP plus 10 there. And then she's on the roll levels, I think, on all three of them, actually, is she? Yeah, so we can get her some roll levels in a minute. And Saz can get another couple of these, I think. So it's another bit of HP, another bit of strength. He's another HP there. He's creeping up to catch up with her as well. Oh, no, it's another one of these guys. Um, I'm going to fight this off screen. So, BRB. Yeah, that went a lot better. I basically heeded my own advice. Um, kept the HP up. Took the, did a similar sort of thing. Take, took out the two main guys. Um, the two little guys, should I say. 
then just focused on my same strategy for the um, shell base, and that, that did the job. So, let's see what that was I picked up. Metal armband, so it improves your resistance to D-Protect. I'm guessing that's a parley for the... Fez I've kind of decided against fighting them now, but the, um, the Wyverns who were putting D-Protect on us. Now I'm going to try and take these guys out, and I'm going to start with Divide and Conquer this time. Because I managed to get the, um, on these mud frogs, managed to get D-Protect on them quite well, which should help Saz. I mean, have we got full information yet? Notes, calls, allies. Yeah, it does. Saz can kind of take them out while I'm trying to get these debuffs on it. Although it's, she's still focusing on the same one over and over again. So I'm guessing it's not to say what they're... Oh, there we go. That works. So now we'll go for the second one. Try and get D-Shell and D-Protect on that one as well. Got D-Protect, right? So I'm, I'm poisoned. Nice. So let's try and get D-Shell on it. And I believe now we'll switch back to Slash and Burn. We'll just try and take these guys down. Because they should be fairly weak. And Saz should have been kind of focusing on them. So maybe one more of those. There we go. Knees out. Now this other one. That's, that's gone. So now we can just mow these guys down, hopefully. Like that size, yep. And not worry too much about these ones. Just hit them hard. Sweet. Right. Yeah. Fine by me. Um, so that's them. Was there any items back there? I should have checked, actually. Nope. Worth a look, though. And one last bunch of these guys. Three of them just by themselves. Right. I didn't get the jump on them, though. They could be a bit of a pain. I'm going to stick with the divide and conquer tactic. Even though I know at least one of them is going to call for backup. Almost immediately. Because they just... They will. I know my luck. So, let's just keep this going, though. That didn't work at all there. But... God. Still none of the... Oh, come on. That's better. Um... Right, poison. So, we've got one third of it done for that one. It's going to be dead by the time I get it weakened, isn't it? No, there we go. Right. That one's down. I'm going to have to heal up here, actually, I think. Let's give this another go, see if I can get one of these. No, right, let's switch to this. That should be enough to keep us ticking over, actually. I'm going to switch to Saboteur Sages and see if I can get, like, with a bit of extra magic going. Yeah, uh, that helps. That did help, at least. Seemed to. Um, although that was actually not magic boost, so God knows what that... Yeah, a bit of faith there will do us some good, but... Ah... Uh, okay, quickly heal... Heal yourself. Or heal Sars even. That'll do. Now, a bit of healing on yourself. That'll do. Then we'll switch to Slash and Burn for these, because I'm getting bored of them now. It's not funny anymore. Well, it was never funny. Ah, oh, see? I knew one of them would. I'm not going to be able to take him down, so I'll just focus on taking this one out before he does it. Right, and that guy, one there, right. So we're down with these little rubes now, so. Yeah, you're dead, and you're dead. Okay, Saz knows what he's doing. <laughs> Them, just ping, ping, dead, dead. Nah. So, as cool as it would be to go out and see them, I'm going to head up here. And are we far from a save point? It feels like we should be close to a save point. No, we're not. It's just more and more of these. Right, I'm going to call it a day there. Um, and I will plough through these tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, wish me luck for that. I'll be here tomorrow with the results. So... Hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, take care of yourself and have a good day. Goodbye.